Okay, where do I go? Where do I go? That will take me to the map. I know that Rose's antique shop has a finished La Pondu. Maybe I could take a piece? No, it doesn't even look like I, I can interact with it. Hmm. No, I can't interact with it. Well, might as well talk to Rose while I'm here. Probably don't have anything to say, though. Hello, Rose. Hello, my dear. Oh, there's something. So what is it that I need to do to use that projection trick you taught me? Focus on three things in the room that oh, this are is just a... to the incident you... Okay. I'm gonna get going. Yeah, this is just something that's always there. Sort of a little hint system. Okay. Well, I've made some definite progress, but I'm still not sure what I'm supposed to do. Let's go back to the crime scene. Okay, let me take a look at the hints. This kind of tells me what I need to do, sort of. Stuff at the scene, graffiti, and the photos from the post office, what are they for? Well, I'm pretty sure I already know. They're a password to something. Uh, yeah, why not? Let's just see what he says. Okay, well, I've already put together something coherent. I've put together a password. So I think that's good. What about the graffiti? This is probably how to read the graffiti, which I've already done. Yep, already done that. Wait, the graffiti is pointing me to something, something about eyes. Wait a minute. What did it say again? I don't remember. If your eyes could see what mine can't, what does that mean? If your eyes could see what mine can't, Is it saying to look where the dead person was looking? If I could see what he can't? These visions of mine feel almost like the real thing. If I could only see what you saw. Wait, the message. What is he looking at? Good question, what is he looking at? Looks like he's looking down at the table. It's kind of hard to tell. Is there a floorboard? I, I really can't tell where he's looking. The stuff on this shelf has been gathering cobwebs for a while. I'm not sure what's in this barrel, but it was here prior to the murder. Some cleaning tools. Not important. Oh, right there. Niche. Is there something in that wall? It really doesn't look like he's looking at that. It looks like he's looking at the floor, but anyway. What's this? Hello? Another
another piece. What do we have here? A photo? Hmm. Who's leaving these? And who are you? I'm going to email a digital picture of this to my computer so I can look at it later. Yay, my first piece of evidence. I'm so excited. Alright, who is she? Hmm. I wonder who she is. Not all hangings are suicide victims. Search closer. Well, yeah, I mean, obviously this is not a suicide victim. I already knew that. So is this a message from the killer? Search closer. Is this saying that that person murdered him? That doesn't really make any sense, though. No, that wouldn't make any sense at all. Then what the hell did this serial killer person do? Unless he just watched the whole thing? Like, could he have seen everything that happened? and then just done the graffiti afterwards? Because I never actually saw him stringing him up in any of my visions. I just saw him being strung up, but I didn't see the person doing the stringing. Hmm. Maybe he has cognition powers as well? So he's able to see this stuff? So he knows what happened? And who did it? Maybe he's like a serial... Like a... <laughs> would be the right way to say that. Maybe he's like a... Killing voyeur? Gets off on it, but he watches people, doesn't do it himself? I don't know. Maybe. Who the hell knows? Alright, well, she's emailed it to her computer. Um, can I... Do anything with it there? We've already established that I can't do any searches of people's photos, but maybe now that it's actually in my computer as evidence, maybe now I can do something with it? I don't know, let's give it a shot. photo here. Now let's see what I can find. Alright. Yeah. I should look for any details that can tell me who this woman is. Okay, so how high quality is this photo? Mm. See, does that say anything? What Ooh. is that on Sarah? her bracelet? Her name? Bingo! Sarah. Alright. I should be able to use that if I want to cross-reference it with something. Okay, is that everything I can get from the photo? Can't seem to zoom out. I already have what I need. Okay, I guess that's it. So, Sarah, I have a name. Uh, I'm trying to figure out this menu. I don't think there's any... I don't have anyone to search for right now. Yeah, I mean, it'd be pointless just to search for Sarah. There's probably like a hundred thousand Sarahs. Uh, 
I don't think there's any point in doing this, is there? No, how would I cross-reference Sarah, though? Where would I cross-reference that? I don't have anyone to... I'm not sure how this interface is supposed to work exactly. Okay, well, it said... The message said... Something like, not all hangings are suicides. Look closer. So let's look at suicides. Hanging suicides. And cross-reference Sarah. This is her. Hello. The woman from that picture. Let's see... I remember a little about this case. Davies and Sully handled it. Hmm. And she was buried at Mount Auburn Cemetery. Same as Scott. Interesting. Alright, so Sarah Noel Goodman. Suicide hanging. So according to what the picture's saying, it said, it's saying that it was not actually a suicide. Interesting. I wonder how the person would know that. No date. Date of incident field empty for some reason. Alright. Victim was found in the master bathroom, suspended from the neck. The point of hanging was an overhead light fixture. A nearby shower stool was on its was on its side below the victim, its position cons consistent with being stood on and then kicked aside. Conversation with the husband, Robert, brought forth that victim was diagnosed with... Uh, how do I pronounce that? Cyclothymic? I don't know what that is. Cyclothymic disorder, approximately one year past, and had been prescribed clonopin. Medication bottles found in the house were all discovered empty. No children or parents. She survived only by her husband. Okay, so I guess... <clears throat> I guess that'd be my suspect then. Or wait, he was out of the country on business at the time of suicide, but remained strongly convinced of her innocence regarding the act. He was out of the country on business at the time of suicide. Well, then he couldn't have done it. The note on the picture said, look closer, so who else would have been close? Let's see, something more down here, follow-up investigation. Robert Goodman, the victim's husband, has been insistent enough in his convictions of Sarah's innocence that the case has been temporarily reopened. A further interrogation was made with Robert, but beyond getting a recorded testimony, there was little more to follow up on, and nothing came to light that offered any new leads. Case will continue as a closed suicide. Alright, well, let's, uh... Let's go to Mount Auburn Cemetery, I guess. Right, or should I do a people search? Oh yeah, yeah, let's do some searching. Alright. Born in 74. Why does it say deceased field empty? They know what day she died, right? Hmm. Is her address? Pretty standard. No identifying marks. High school and some college. Creative writing. A couple jobs. I don't need to request any evidence right now. Wait, I can request evidence? How's that gonna work? Huh. Alright, let's search for Robert Goodman. No known current address. I should see if I can speak to this guy. Yeah, I need to talk with him. Alright. High school and college, multiple jobs. So how would I find where he lives? I don't need to request How would I find where he lives? How would I do that? I don't think I can do any sort of a search, can I? No. Hmm. Alright, well, I think I'm done here on the computer. Well, I, I guess I could just go to his last known address. See if anyone... See if the person there knows where he went, maybe? I can't think of anything else. Oh, 
Or hell, maybe when I go to the cemetery, I'll find him at her grave. If I'm lucky, super lucky. Let's just go do that first. If I can find Sarah's grave here. All right, let's look for Sarah. Sarah, where are you? Sarah. So wait, how do I find which one is hers? Wouldn't the headstone say the name? But she's not saying what name is on the headstone. Sarah. 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 Oh my god, that's gonna drive me nuts. Sarah Goodman. Okay. <laughs> that one's hers, apparently. I'm not too sure what I'm expecting to find here. Yeah, probably nothing. Sarah Goodman. A loving wife, a life gone too soon. Yeah. There's something under those leaves. Is there? What is it? Awkward silence again? Let me guess, she's gonna teleport? Waiting for the teleport. Yep, there we go. What is this? Hmm. Who put this here? It's an old locket. Maybe the killer put this here. Now that I think about it, laying the clues. Could this have belonged to Sarah? Oh shit. Oh god. She was murdered. Poor woman. Well, now I know what happened. This clearly belonged to Sarah. Did Robert leave it at her grave? I don't know. I'm thinking the killer probably put it there. Alright, well, uh, Cordelia says she spends a lot of time in the cemetery. So maybe she's seen someone at her at his grave, uh, at her grave, Sarah's grave. I better leave her be. It was embarrassing enough already. Or not? Never mind. That's what I get for being reasonable. All right, what can I do with this locket though? This clearly belonged to Sarah. Did Robert leave it at her grave? Doesn't actually help me find Robert. How am I going to find Robert? Can I go to his last known address? Anywhere? I don't think so. It'd be downtown, I guess. Hmm. All right, hold on. Where do I get an evidence form? Wait, like... I get the feeling there's lots of stuff I can do in this game that I just don't realize I can do. Like, get an evidence form? What? Am I supposed to request evidence? Evidence for what? I already pressed the evidence button and she said she doesn't need to? Okay, evidence for what? Do I now need to go get the evidence for her case now that I know she was murdered? Uh, let's see if that's the case.
All right, so let's search for for her, and then is it this? I don't need to request any evidence right now. I'm confused. Uh... All right. Wait a minute, Sully worked on the Robert Goodman case? Or the Sarah and Robert Goodman case? Did he? Hold on. Uh, how do I get back there? Just to satisfy my curiosity. Oh yeah, Jared Sullivan. Hey, Sully. So, you change your mind about lunch? No. Nope. No. I need to ask you something. What is it? I found your name on a case and I need details. You remember anything about Sarah Goodman? How can I forget? That was my first case, when McAdams was still in charge. I took the case with Davies. Why did the FBI take the case? Because of the husband. He refused to believe it was a suicide. He had some important and powerful friends, and we got pulled into it. How did it go down? Uh, the husband had left for a business trip. He was always abroad. When he came back this time, he found his wife hanging in their condo and immediately notified the police. How did the case get handed off to the FBI? The detective on the case immediately ruled it a suicide. The husband made some calls, and before you know it, Davies and I were driving to the scene. So you were there at the crime scene? Yeah, it was wicked awful. The woman had been dead for a while. <laughs> Nothing like that for your first real case. Not that it was much of a case, or so Davies thought. So the husband, this Robert Goodman, he was cleared of all charges? He was abroad on a business trip. We checked, and his story cleared. He was very disturbed. Nobody's that good an actor. Do you know where I can find him now? Uh, as it happens, yeah. I saw him not long ago. He's, uh, he's on the streets. He is? Yeah, here's the saddest part of the story. He never gave up on the case. He obsessed over it. Quit his job, spent all of his money, lost his home. And it drove him mad. I dealt with him a lot of times when he would come here to beg for us to reopen the case, saying he had new proof. So that's who that was. I remember seeing him a few times, yeah. Did you ever look at this new evidence? Briefly. He went on about the possibility of someone having done this to others, but Davy said we'd be wasting our time, and really, there was nothing concrete. As for where you can find him, he hangs out around Shafter Avenue in Dorchester. I'll send the exact location to your phone. Who closed the case? Davies. We did our due research, interrogated Robert Goodman, but there was nothing pointing at murder. We talked to several family members who knew Goodman's wife. They had moved to the city recently from some suburb in California because of the husband's work. What did the relatives say? The, the victim was on antidepressants. They'd been living here for a little less than a year and she wasn't coping well with the move. It all pointed to suicide. So, uh, what's your interest? I need to look at a couple of things before I can say. I may need your help on this. Anything you need, Erica. Thank you, Jared. See you later, Sully. Yeah. All right, let's go pay a visit to Robert. Robert's alley. His very own alley. That's where Sully said I'd find Robert Goodman. <laughs> mm. 
bum. Don't tell me that's Robert. I think it is. Yeah, that's the only person I can interact with. I should ask that man about Robert. I think that is Robert. He's not looking too good. You know, let's see if he wants some donuts. That won't work there. I guess the bum is on a diet too. Hello, I I'm looking for Robert Goodman. Do you know where I can find him? Who's looking for him? FBI agent Erica Reed. I'm Special Agent Erica Reed, FBI. Can you point me to Robert Goodman? That would be me, Agent. What do you want? You were married to Sarah Goodman, is that correct? What about Sarah? I'm conducting an investigation on her death, and I'd like to ask you a few questions. I was wondering if you can come with me to the station. I'm sorry, but that's a part of my past I'd rather not relive. It would really help if you came to the office with me. No can do. I am fine where I am right now. How could I convince him? I have an idea. Give him the la donut. This is not going to work with this. Okay, maybe my first idea was better. Lock it. I'd rather be in a more secure place before showing him that. Wait, what? Seriously? Um... The picture? Is this Here, look, Sarah? Look at the, your wife oh, that died. Yes, this is her. I don't remember when we took this picture. Mr. Goodman, I know this is difficult for you. I've read your file. I know what happened. There's new information on this case. I believe we may be dealing with a killer. There are others out there whose lives could depend on your help. Will you please come with me? I'll come with you, Agent Reed. But I'm not sure I can be of any help. Okay. Robert is in the interrogation room. I need to tell John. McCoy? Red? Actually, yeah, why don't I tell him about the shredded paper? I found something interesting in Davy's office. Reed, tell me you didn't sneak in there. Relax. Listen to this. Davy's got a fax yesterday. It mentioned someone was going to be hanged before the killing. So that's why she brought us in. The message also points to a package left in the post office for Davy's. Davy shredded the message. It must not have been fully shredded because later she pulled it and saved what was left. But why didn't she just mention this last night? She's walking on eggshells, and last time we cracked one, a lot went wrong. But we have a killer on the loose. She should have told us everything. You don't know everything that's happened around here, Red. Trust me on this, kiddo. I'm going to call her. I tried earlier. She didn't pick up. Hmm. And where is she again? Given that she's having creepy messages sent to her, and evidence relating to cases, hopefully she hasn't been kidnapped. I've brought Robert Goodman with me. He's the husband of that other victim I told you about. Good. Do you want a good cop, bad cop him? No. Let me handle this one. All right, let's go. I'll watch from outside. I heard you have Robert Goodman here. Yeah. You know, Erica, let the kid handle it with you. This was his case, after all. Plus, Sully can do some good grilling. So you're determined to keep your lazy ass attached to your desk for the whole day? Nah, I think you should go, McCoy. This is your case now. 
So who do you want, Erica? Well, I actually get to choose. Um. Okay. Hmm. Okay, well, Sully knows more about the case, obviously. However, John would be fresh eyes on the case. And I think fresh eyes is exactly what we need, given that we're reopening it. So, let's go with John. Let's go, John. I want to do this on my own. Go ahead, Red. Hey, John. Do you want any donuts? Apparently he doesn't, because I can't even use items on him. Damn it. I have been carrying... John, I've been carrying these fucking donuts around in my shirt all day. Okay? It's really uncomfortable. Will you, will you please eat these donuts? Please. Please, John. John, just eat the donuts. Look at all these items. I'm carrying 20 pounds of items. It hurts. My legs are tired. Please, eat my donuts. <sighs> I need to get into the room for that. <laughs> no shit. All right, Mr. Goodman. I'm only here because of what you showed me. I know. And I wouldn't have brought you here if this wasn't important. Oh, I'm not talking. I'm not comfortable. How can I make you feel better? I'm a little hungry. You don't say! Would you like some donuts? Please? Please take my donuts. I don't have a reason to do that now. <sighs> he just said he's hungry. And I just offered him donuts. And she said there's no reason to do that right now. So, let me get this right. There's no reason to give a hungry person food. Robert, please stay here. I have to get something done. Don't take long. Alright, if you don't want my fucking donuts, I'll get you some fucking food from the vending machine. All right, stay right here. John, I need to take care of something. Keep an eye on the guy. He won't be going nowhere. I just want to get rid of these donuts. Uh, I should not have ever have picked them up. It's a curse. I'm now cursed with these donuts that I cannot put down. I need some money for it. Don't... Erica, you're an FBI agent. Do you not have money? Okay, well this is her badge. Is this her wallet too? This is not going to work with this. How? What? Do you not have money? Uh, I don't... I don't understand. Do I have to visit the bank? Those two don't work together. The old vending machine. <laughs> Good. How? Where, where do I get money from? I don't... My wallet isn't here. In the inventory. Uh, do I have to ask someone to buy me something from the vending machine? Gwen? Can you help a girl out? Apparently I'm an F, a broke FBI agent. Hey, Erica. Hey, Gwen. Nope. Thank you, Gwen. Anytime. 
Thanks for nothing, Gwen. I want money. Am I seriously now on a quest for money? To put into the vending machine? Do I not have a wallet? Is there any spare money on John's, John's desk? Nope. Uh, Sully? Hey, Sully. Hi, Erica. Goodbye. See you later, Sully. Yeah. I need some money for it. I cannot believe that she does not have any money. Modern vending's vending machines take coins, cash, and cards. You're telling me she does not have any of those three things on her. Unless my phone is some magical money machine? This is not going to work with this. I didn't think so. Can I lockpick it? This is not going to work with this. I don't understand. Is my wallet in my desk or something? I don't see it. Oh, there it is. But where's my wallet? Surely she has a debit or credit card on her, which she could have used. But for some reason, she really, really wants to use coins. Well, when something gets stuck in the vending machine, the only solution is to shoot it. This is not going to work with this. Okay, just lean into it. Punch it. Bloody your fist upon its plexiglass window. <laughs> Works every time. Here you go, Robert. I hope you like Sunshine Chips. The generically named, non-copyright infringing version of Sun Chips. Yeah, good. I'm glad you approve. You didn't even open it. How about something sweet? Are, is he, is he actually gonna take my donuts? Robert, if you take my donuts, I will marry, actually, no, I won't. You're a dirty hobo. I will love you. Oh, thank God, the donuts. Thank you. Wait, no, that's, that's just a donut. Where's the box? Don't tell me I still have the box of donuts on me. Please, no. So will you help me now, Mr. Goodman? Call me Robert. Thank you. Do I still have the donuts? I can't check my inventory. All right, tell me about Sarah. Your wife, Sarah. Beautiful woman, very kind. She didn't deserve what happened to her. You don't believe she committed suicide? I didn't believe it was possible at the time. There's new information and... I've spent a long time trying to convince you people she hadn't killed herself, but that was such a long time ago. Sir? I'm a firm believer that it's never too late for justice. We may have made a terrible mistake. Yeah, tell that to Agent Davies and Agent McAdams. 
Are they listening? Agent, those still are very painful memories to me. I'll help you. But I don't see the point in all of this anymore. Sarah is gone, and that's something that will never change. Did you or your wife have any enemies? Anyone who might have wanted to kill her? You already have all that information in your case files. Do you have any new information or not? Goodbye? Okay, do I still have the box? No, I don't, thank the gods. Ah, I'm free of the burden of the donuts. Alright, take a look at this. I don't have a reason to do that now. Never mind, don't take a look at that. Um... I don't know, what new evidence do I have? I mean, I know she was murdered because of the vision, but I can't show the vision to him. Those two don't work together. So... I... Uh, what about the projector? The image? This is not going to work with this. Uh... Uh, do you recognize the victim? Do you know this man? Well, that's horrible. Why are you showing this to me? Trust me, I wouldn't show you if I didn't need to. We found him dead last night. Wait. That's... I do know that man. Do you know his name? Yes, of course. He... Uh, I don't... I don't remember. Anything that you can help with. Where do you know him from? Anything? I'm sorry, Agent. I just... I don't remember. Okay, maybe I can jog his memory with the tattoo? This is not going to work with this. Never mind. Okay. How can I make him remember? This necklace. My lord. I haven't seen that thing in ages. It belonged to my wife. May I? It was an anniversary gift. Where did you find it? I visited her grave. I used to do that, religiously, day after day, and until I just stopped. It's a thing of beauty, just like she was. I don't think I have anything else for him, do I? This is not going to work with this. No. I don't suppose that jogged his memory? Robert, please, try to remember. I'm sorry, Agent, I just... I don't remember. Hmm. Can I do any sort of cognition here? Oh, hello. Robert, I need you to think back and look for the name of this man in the picture. I'm trying. I'm remembering the last time I met with my wife. He came up in that conversation. I just can't remember well. The details are... Robert, please try to think back to that moment. Have you ever lost someone you love, Agent? Do you want to hold on to the memories for as long as you can? But they dissipate through the years. And then all you're left with are the fragments, small moments. I've tried for too long to hold on to a ghost, and it didn't get me anywhere. Now I don't want to remember. Robert, I know exactly what it is to lose someone you love. I lost my brother to a murderer. And I know what it is to chase ghosts too. But there is a real chance here that if you're right, if your wife was indeed murdered, we may find this person. So please, help us. It was the last time we met. We were at a train station. I was about to leave on a business trip, again. Sarah was sad. 
She didn't want me to go. She hated this town. Oh wow, this is really neat. Memory one, two, three, four, five. Alright, memory one. I can't make anything out of this. My visions are too confused. Maybe I should pay Rose a visit. Okay, I don't think I have the skills to do this yet. I can't... Let's go get some more training from Rose. Excuse me one moment, Robert. By one moment, I mean like an hour, because I'm going to leave the office, drive over to Rose's antique shop, get some psychic lessons from her, and then drive back. So, just chill here and eat your donut and sunshine chips. Robert, please stay here. I have to get something done. Don't take long. Oh, it's gonna take a long time. Oh, hi, Rose. Hello, Rose. Hello, my dear. How are you doing, my dear? How's that case you were asking about last night? I'm having some issues with it. It's something maybe you could help me with? Tell everything to Mama Rose. I'm talking to this man. I need to help him remember something. I can see his memories, somehow, but there are pieces that are missing, things he can't recall. People sometimes bury details, but you'd be surprised how much they can remember if pointed in the right direction. Like when the sweet smell of a bakery reminds you of mom's delicious baked goods. Mmm. Right. But how can I figure what will trigger him to remember? But you can do much more than just that. You can see what they think they have forgotten. He's a little twitchy already. If I start telling him this stuff... That is not the way to go about it. You can use your own mind to help them without pronouncing a single word. Think of it as a kind of regression. Regression? How? Is there anything in particular you want to remember, my dear? Sometimes I wish I could go back to the time when... when my brother was killed. Oh, my dear. Are you sure this is something you want to do? It can be very damaging to your soul, a thing like that. I went to the cemetery today, and something's been bugging me ever since. I can't put my finger on what, so... I'd like to try to remember. As you wish. I will be here to help you. Close your eyes. Go back to that moment, that day. Remember what happened. All right, you have now acquired the power of regression. You may now use it on people when Erica wants to dig deep into someone's memory. Open your cognition power. So when you see purple auras around people, that means they're apt for regression. But in order to successfully activate the power, you must be able to touch them. That's not a problem with Erica here, so go ahead and select her and then click the Cognition Sphere. I can see him, but I can't quite remember. What is fuzzy to you right now? It's silly, but I can't remember the color of his jacket. What else? I don't know if he was calm or angry or sad. I can't remember. 
I always see him angry at me. Angry at... Try to remember what it really was, not the memory you've painted since. Tell me when you are ready, my dear. Okay, you can nudge different details in people's minds. Details that can be interacted with will be highlighted. Pressing on them sometimes will help clear a memory or... Okay, just I didn't finish reading that. Um, in here, you can manipulate two things, Scott's jacket color and the expression of his face. When you set each to the correct map... Okay. <laughs> when you are satisfied with your choices, press the cognition sphere to trigger Erica's memory. If all changeable details on memory are set... Okay. So change details until it's accurate, and then try to trigger it. Well, he certainly wasn't happy, and he wasn't angry. I, he was just scared. That's him strapped to the table, right? Um, what color was his jacket? Ugh. Certainly wasn't bright blue, was it? I actually don't remember. I really don't remember. Sure, this one? No, nope. that wasn't it. Are you sure you want to... Yes, yeah. yes. Let me try again. Yeah, I don't remember the color of his jacket. I guess I'll just have to try them all. No, that... Are you... I don't get why the loading takes so long. Look at this. It, what is it loading? It's already loaded. It's weird. No. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it wasn't extremely bright blue and green, but let's try it. No. Nope. Uh wait, haven't I gone through all... Oh, wait. No, that wasn't it. Are you sure you want to continue? Yeah. Have, didn't I just go through all the colors? Does that mean the expression on his face is wrong? It can't be, can it? He obviously wasn't angry with me. And there's... He wasn't happy, was he? He's strapped to a freaking table about to die. No, that... Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, how many colors are there? Alright, let's go from the bright blue. One. Two. Three. Four. Okay, so there's four. And I'm pretty sure it wasn't bright, bright blue. So... I guess I'll change him to happy? I don't remember him being happy. I mean, I'm sure he was happy to see me. But... Yeah. No. Uh, yeah. Trial and error. The most fun part of any adventure game. No. Yeah. <laughs> Please. Yes. I think I got it. Now focus again. Focus on the actual regression and finish that memory you have just manipulated back into what it was. Are you okay? I'm fine. Cordelia? Who? Someone I met today. She knows you. I stole a flower from her brother's grave. <laughs> I'm such a horrible person. Who does that? What kind of a person forgets to bring flowers to her brother and steals them from another grave? <laughs> calm down, my dear. He was calm, Scotty. He had this expression on his face. He knew he would die, yet he, he had such a calm expression for my sake. He knew I had failed. 
but you are still trying, my dear. And he knows that. Wherever he is, he knows that. Wait, what? He had a calm expression on his face. He knew I had failed. But he's doing it for my sake? What? Okay, two things. One, he did not have a calm expression on his face. He didn't... I don't think he had any particular expression on his face at all, because he seemed like he was almost unconscious. Uh, secondly, I didn't fail. I saved him. He just died afterwards, cause... Uh, I don't know. Cause of... Internal bleeding? Cause he was poisoned? I have no idea, but I saved him. So, it seems like they wrote that as if I had failed, even though I didn't, which is bizarre. Anyway, now I have the skills I need to go back to Robert.